Okay, I hadn't really planned on showing you today um, how to do the arms for your clothespin dolls, but I'm going to go ahead and show you anyway. Um, as you can see, I hope you can see this. Let me pull out a little bit more here so you can see better. Um, I have a clothespin doll that I painted and everything's ready to go. And the order in which you do this is really up to you. Um, I usually paint my dolls and get everything the way I want it. And then I go ahead and put the little hole in for the arms. Now you got to make sure the doll is lined up here because that's where the doll's legs are. And then I have this little vice grip. And I'm just going to put the doll in there and tighten it. So it'll hold it steady while I'm making the um, hole for the arms. And you really need to make sure this is secure to the doll, your table, all safety precautions, keep them in mind. Then you've got your drill, my super duper cordless drill. And you can just take a drill bit, um, I guess that's what this is called. Uh, this is a one that's 3 16th of an inch, and it's the one I'm going to use. Um, but you could go smaller, you could go larger, obviously that's up to you. So then just be real careful, um, and mark where you want to put your arm. I kind of know cause I've done this a whole lot, but you know, you'll figure, you'll see when you do it yourself. And I'm just going to go ahead and start drilling and put the little arm hole in. And that's all you do to make a hole for your doll, your clothespin doll's arms. And then I'm going to loosen this, take it out, and oh, as you can see, I messed up a little bit on this side, but you can generally just kind of like pick that part off. Um, sometimes I take a emery board, a little nail file, and just file it if I've messed up a little bit. This is probably why it's better for you to do this before you paint the wood. But considering that once you put the clothes on the doll, you're not going to see it anyhow. It doesn't much matter. So I like to clean up my holes there a little bit. And basically you have a hole for your doll's arms. Then you can take a um, pipe cleaner or whatever you're going to use for your doll's arms and like this is a lollipop stick and just stick it on in there Ta -da! and your doll now has arms it's that simple okay um hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um once again you need a doll you need a vice something to hold it don't try to hold to put the um hole for your doll's arms it, don't try to hold this in your hand you need to really get one of these uh little vice grips and they have these I think I got this at Lowe's and it was about, it was under $20. So it's a great investment and it's a small one, easy enough for girls to handle. And it just, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll try to point it down. And it just attaches to the table so it doesn't move. And make sure you watch your fingers when you take that off. And once again, easy peasy way, a drill, a vise, a clothespin doll to put your dolls to make arms for your doll. Okay, hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial today. Thanks for stopping by.